Number one, Crusader. The feature-packed Crusader sports a layout that might seem a bit 2005, but it's user-friendly and gets the job done. This advanced file manager is a twin panel app that was created for the Plasma desktop, but can be installed on most distributions. One of my favorite features built into Crusader is the network connection wizard where you can create connections for FTP, SFTP, FISH, NFS, SMB, and WebDAP. Instead of installing third-party software to connect to your network share, you get everything you need. Crusader also features extensive archive handling, a user actions tool for creating automated interactions with specific file types, a powerful search feature, customizable views, mount man for mounting and mounting drives, disk usage, reports, and more. The Crusader is a file manager best suited for advanced users. If you are new to Linux, it contains features you probably won't use until you are more familiar with the OS. Even so, this is an outstanding choice. Okay, number two, Nemo. Nemo is the default file manager for the Cinnamon desktop but can be installed on most Ubuntu based desktop distributions. Uh, Nemo might uh, look very similar to your default GNOME file manager because it's a fork of GNOME files, aka Nautilus. Here's the most obvious difference. GNOME files doesn't include a toolbar menu system, but Nemo retains it. Unlike GNOME files, uh, Nemo allows for a few uh, customizations uh, such as a toolbar, sidebar, and even keyboard shortcuts. Nemo also enables you to open a folder in a new window instead of the current one. To make, use, to make this user-friendly, File Manager even more appealing, Nemo has support for invoking actions, scripts, and extensions. Out of the box, You'll find the Nemo includes actions for add desklet, mount uh, archives, set as wallpaper, create a new launcher, change desktop background, and display settings. There's also the Nemo file roller extension installed by default. Finally, there's the quick file preview, which allows you to view a preview of a file without having to open it. Number three, PCMan FM. I've never been a big fan of the PCMan FM name, but the file manager is pretty stellar. Once upon a time, PCMan FM used an outdated UI. Now, it can confirm to your desktop of choice in fact, after installing PCMan FM on Ubuntu 24.04, I thought the OS mistook it for known files when it opened the file manager. The only giveaway was the sidebar and the only reason I exported that was because I'm so familiar with known files. PCMan FM has a ton of features such as a full GVFS support, thumbnails, desktop management, bookmarks, tabs interface, volume management, drag and drop between tabs, and one of my favorite features, the ability to run a command within a folder. This feature comes is handy when you realize you need to run a command within a window but don't want to have to open a terminal window to do so. PCMan FM also includes a powerful search tool 
that allows you to search by name or pattern. File type, content, uh, properties, and more. On top of all that, PCMan FM is very fast. Okay. Uh, number four, Thuner. Thuner is the XFCE file manager and offers just the right amount of features and no more, although it is built for XFCE. It can be installed on most Linux distributions and will conform to the look and feel of your chosen desktop. Thuner does have a few tricks up it sleep that make it stand out from the crowd such as custom actions actions that are added to the right click context menu the ability to transfer files in parallel for speed customizable keyboard shortcuts ascend to features that includes bluetooth sharing work renaming and plugin for the likes of archiving media tag, shares, and VCS. One thing to note about the plugins, uh, they must be installed manually, which can be pretty confusing, given the official documentation is of very little help. Essentially, you have to download the source for the plugin you want, unpack it, and then compile it. For most users, uh, that's a bit much. However, if you are familiar with Linux, uh, you will find installation of the plugins quite achievable, even with the complication. Tuner is a great option for file managers. Okay, number five, X File Explorer. X File Explorer XFE is very much rooted in old school Linux. The file manager looks and behaves very much like it's being chunked from the past, but that's not a bad thing. XFE is very lightweight, so it's fast, and includes HIDPI monitor support, an integrated text editor, image viewer, RPM, depth package viewer, the ability to create sim links, and is highly customizable. You can also enable disable root mode which allows you to access file as a root user so long as you have the root user password and it's enabled. One of the standout features of XFE is the search tool which allows you to search via minimum size, last modified, user file type, empty files, text contains, hidden files and even ignoring cases. Another handy feature is the ability to see the size of your current trash file and empty it from the menu. You can also change the UI to single pane, dual pane or, or triple pane. 